Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of my devlog series. If you haven't watched the last episodes, then what the fuck are you doing here? You should turn around and check them out. Where I make a top-down RPG game about a Persian legend called Arash the Archer. Anyway, without further ado, this is where we left off. We have a player, we can move around, we have a stamina and a health bar. We can shoot arrows and we can dodge. And we also have a crappy enemy, which as you probably already know, in this episode we're gonna make a smart enemy AI. But before that, the enemy's animations are kinda questionable. So, let's make some new and fresh animations. But first, I gotta admit that I don't like the design of this old enemy. So I decided to draw a new one. Now, designing this enemy is actually pretty important. And I gotta make sure that I make an enemy that was pretty common in Persian mythology. So I searched for some mythic Persian creatures. And even though there are so many that are pretty cool, like for instance the Manticore, I decided to go for the Jen or Jin or Jinny. I don't know, whatever you call it. Mainly because this is gonna be like a common enemy in the game. And the Manticore would probably do a lot better as a boss fight. So if you want to see a Manticore as a boss fight, make sure to leave a like on this video, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. So after spending some time in Photoshop, I ended up with this enemy design which... Uh, I didn't like. So I decided to disable the outline on the other enemy design and to be honest it looks a lot better than the previous design. So I did the same thing for Arash the Archer as well. And then it was time to make some animations for the enemy. After some more time, I ended up with this attack animation and this walking animation. Now to make the main logic of the enemy, I wanted to use staring behaviors. If you don't know what that is, it's basically some invisible rays that come out of the enemy that detect the obstacles and the player and decide to avoid the obstacles and choose the best way to actually get to the player. Now I could definitely make that myself, but since there's already a tutorial out there on the internet, how about we go ahead and copy and uh, I mean follow along with the tutorial, huh? But first, I decided to download some free tile maps and make some kind of an environment for the game. Then I added these obstacles so that the enemy actually has some obstacles to avoid. At first, I made the enemy detect the obstacles around him and also draw a ray from his eyes to the player. And if the ray actually touches the player, it means that the enemy can see the player. And in the next step, I added those invisible rays that I talked about earlier. And now our enemy knows what path to follow in order to not collide with any obstacles. And then the next step was to make the enemy actually follow the player. Excuse me, what the actual fuck? Then I made the enemy play the attack animation when he gets near enough to the player but I don't want his attack to be pretty simple I want it to have some kind of a pattern so that it's challenging and cool to actually dodge the enemy's attack like in souls like games like most games when the enemy wants to attack the player he takes a moment to get ready and charge his attack and once he is ready he charges forward and attacks the player and in this case I made the enemy stay for a second then charge his attack and move towards the player when he does the attack because I didn't want the player to just run back and avoid the enemy's attack but when I implemented this it works fine only for the first time haha <laughs> that's a bug right there you bitch try to fix that without copying I mean following along with the tutorial after a couple of hours I was feeling down and I was like am I really that good at making games should I just quit? But no, I didn't give up. You, you fucking bug. Get the fuck out of here, you little bitch. God, I'm really not that good at making things emotional. I guess. What the fuck did I just say? Anyway, with all the bug fixing, our issue is now fixed and the enemy does what I just explained. And with all that done, the next step would be to make the player dodge through the enemy. Now in the previous episode, which if you haven't watched it, you should turn the energy left. I made the player's collider disable every time that he pressed the dodge button. But even though we're disabling his collider for only a few frames, 
that can still cause some issues. So I decided to use collision matrix. What the collision matrix basically does is that you can check or uncheck what layers can actually collide with each other. So I went to project settings in Unity, then physics, then disabled the collision between the two layers. Then I decided to test it out and... Uh, well, this isn't working. Ah, oh, man, I feel dumb. I went to physics 2D and I didn't see the collision matrix in there. I feel stupid. Actually, I think I already am. But whatever, we can now dodge through the enemy's attack. Now, you might have noticed this yellow thing behind the enemy's back. That is basically a weak spot. You see? That's the most fucked up shit I've ever seen! To prevent the players from keeping their distance to the enemy like a put and then spamming the shoot button, I made the arrows deal a lot less damage to the enemy's body than the yellow thing at his back. So that the players will decide to be a brave warrior What is this shit? And dodge the enemy's attack And then shoot him at his back Thus saving a lot of resources Now to test if this steering behavior would work with multiple enemies And allow them to avoid each other Leading to a more interesting combat system I decided to add multiple enemies And then hit play to see if it works Bro, what the actual fuck? I am taking damage The enemy is in there well that was a bug, it is fixed now, but obviously this is far from perfect, but I'm gonna make some changes later on as I make the game. And with all that done, I think we can wrap things up for this episode. So if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and in the next episode, I think I will add different stats, level ups, collectibles, items and stuff. So subscribe and get out of here.